Morocco has made commitments for many years now in the area of sustainable development, environment protection and the fight against climate change. Morocco's nationally determined contribution, NDC, finds its institutional embedment in the National Strategy for Sustainable Development, SNDD, to be operational by the end of 2017. The SNDD outlines a vision of the Kingdom by 2030 as part of an integrated perspective that even goes beyond climate change itself. This commitment is materialized through programs and actions aimed at adapting to climate change and mitigating its effects. Morocco's NDC means actually 55 actions, projects, 24 unconditional actions and 31 conditional to international support that are intended in particular to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 42% by the year 2030, which matches a financial estimate of $50 billion. As part of its international commitment to transparency, Morocco has set up, with support from GIZ, a national greenhouse gas inventory system, urging all sectors to report their emissions on a regular basis. To implement this contribution properly, Morocco has developed within the SNDD a legal and operational instrument along with a steering committee in charge of ensuring good governance. There are many areas of intervention and some are subject to ambitious programs. Solar energy with operations like NOR in Wazazat, wind power and its fields of Tantan, Isawira or again Kudiat al Baida the scale-up of waste treatment and recovery, or again, the development of plants for the treatment of reuse of treated wastewater. The abiding concern for the mobilization and protection of water resources is given concrete expression in the increased construction of water reservoirs throughout the country, the development of localized irrigation and the adaptation of crop types to geographical and climate conditions particularly in oasis environments. Finally, the choice of clean transport is asserted through the new tramway systems in large cities and the introduction of electric buses. NDC achievement relies on appropriate and diversified financial tools like the Green Climate Fund, through the accreditation of the Agricultural Development Agency and CDG Capital. Financial instruments, notably green bonds issued by Massen and national banks like PCB and BMCE Bank. Furthermore, Bank Al Maghrib, the national central bank, invested in up to 100 million US dollars in green bonds issued by the World Bank. Besides, the Moroccan roadmap of the financial sector presented during COP22 is a genuine commitment for sustainable finance. Morocco is also committed to phase out fossil fuel subsidies and endorse the communique of the Friends of Fossil Fuel Subsidiary Reform. Supported by the World Bank's Partnership for Market Readiness program, Morocco is currently developing scenarios for carbon pricing and a national carbon market. This commitment was highlighted during the Africa Carbon Forum held in 2015 in Marrakesh, which culminated in the Marrakesh Declaration on Carbon Pricing that was endorsed by the African Ministers of Environment. Committed for the climate, the Kingdom is nowadays an example that, if followed by all to the same degree and according to the respective capabilities, would limit temperature rise to less than 1.5 degrees. The organization on the fringe of COP22, of the Summit of African Heads of State on Climate Change in Marrakesh, made it possible to promote the mobilization of continental partners and gave impetus to the momentum for South-South Corporation. Specific initiatives have been taken at the instigation of the Kingdom of Morocco, dealing with the Sahel Group, problematic of spaces weakened by desertification and drought. The Congo Basin, mobilization of protection of water resources and the AAA initiative, adaptation of African agriculture. Morocco seeks the involvement of many African countries in a movement of mobilization commitment 
and implementation of specific and tailored actions in the area of sustainable development. For this purpose, Morocco, a co-chair of the Partnership Initiative for NDC implementation worldwide, is willing to share its experience, know-how and political commitment at the international level, and more specifically for the benefit of the continent and the countries of the South.